What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Vitalis. I was up all night. We had a bad night with the Rangers losing last night, and it got to me, so I couldn't sleep. Went out, did a little work this morning. Now I'm back. Let's go ahead. The Sharps were pretty, uh, they were like 50 50 yesterday, so it wasn't like a great day for us. I had a big unit on the Rangers. I thought it was Rangers Day all day. And it just didn't work out. I had a small play on FSU that FSU was. So it, it just didn't work out yesterday. But today, we buckle up and we hit these games running. So let me go ahead and go over the top five uh, sharp plays for you. Uh, I'm just going to update real quick. All right. So we have the very first game is the Padres. Now, the Padres are at plus 158. Now, the Padres are becoming the spoiler team of everyone. They, they beat Arizona last night. I think they're going to beat Arizona again today. Let me see my notes on them. So, Arizona has a Robbie Ray. I'm not a big fan of Robbie Ray. So, I would say I actually agree on this play. I like the Padres. I like how they, they've been playing lately. Um... Uh, and for whatever reason, I'm, I don't bet on Robbie Ray at all for Arizona. I think he's a bad pitcher. I've lost units in the past with him. Will I be on this game? I don't know, but I kind of agree with the Sharps here. It's fade Robbie Ray um, all for Arizona. So we'll take it for what it is. Next is Tampa Bay. So Tampa Bay Rays are coming in at negative 122. And I can't agree more. Tampa Bay Rays are surging right now. They're going against... The Blue Jays, which are spiraling, spiraling down. Uh, the team's just actually giving up. They're just collecting checks. Uh, so, yeah, Tampa Bay at negative 122. I think Stanek's on the mound for the Rays, so I would say go Rays. I'll probably be on this play. This is probably going to be my play of the day. Uh, so we'll see how it all works out. Now, remember, uh, we're doing this at 8.30 West Coast time, and the games don't start until 4 p.m. West Coast time. So, of course, things can change throughout the day. And I'll keep monitoring the steam and everything. But right now, that definitely looks like a play for me, uh, the Tampa Bay Rays. Next, we go to the Dodgers at negative 230. And uh, there's no value in this for us, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass. The next is Colorado Rockies at negative 195. There's no uh, value in this for us either, so I'm just going to pass. And what's coming up on the next one is the Chicago White Sox at negative 164. They have an easy bout with, uh, I think they play KC today. Let me just bring that up real quick. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, Chicago White Sox play the Detroit uh, Tigers. And Detroit Tigers has, I'm just bringing it up real quick, has Francisco Liriano on the mound, of course. You don't want to back them. Giolito is actually pitching for the White Sox, and we've been on Giolito uh, for a while now. And we've been kind of riding them. So, but are we going to take Giolito at negative 164? Of course not. So that's kind of a pass for us uh, right there, too. So let me just go ahead, and I'm going to update the information one more time, and then we're going to go on the analytics side. So I gave you the top five. I'll just go over them real quick. Once again, Padres, Tampa Bay Rays, Dodgers, Rockies, and Chicago White Sox. So out of all five of those plays, what I will be on probably today is the Tampa Bay Rays uh, since they're surging up and Stanek's on the mound versus the lonely Blue Jays, which are only going down. Now, yesterday, what was funny yesterday is the Argonauts lost in um, Canada football. So the Argonauts lost and then the Toronto Blue Jays lost. It's funny how when a city has multiple teams, if one team loses... All the teams lose that day because no one wants one people to celebrate and the other. It's kind of funny how it always works out that way. So Argonauts lost, Blue Jays lost. Funny. Uh, next, we're going to go straight down the list here. Let me double check. I did see um, on the Sharps, I did see that the they had the Cubs for a little bit. But I had the Cubs at a 50-50 game. And so it just flashed real quickly, but then it got taken down. So... Uh, these Sharps, uh, they'll jump on something real quick, but then it doesn't make sense, so they'll jump off. Um, let's go ahead and break it down, uh, right down the, the wire here. So we have Reds and Pirates. I have a 4-4 game, so whichever uh, team makes the first mistake 
Uh, next is the Cardinals and Nats. I like the Cardinals in this situation with Nicholas on the mound. I think that there's something ridiculous about the Cardinals when they have Nicholas on the mound. I think they're like almost like seven and two. Uh, so they they just tend to win with this kid on the mound. Um, next is the Rays and Blue Jays. I've already told you I like the Rays in this spot. I have it at, at a six four game Rays win. Next is Kansas City and Indians. This is an easy game for Kansas, uh, easy game for the Indians, and that's probably why there's no value in this game. Uh, you're looking at a six to three game Indians win. Next is Phillies and the Marlins. I think the Phillies bounce back in this situation and they take one game from the Marlins. So this is a five four game Phillies win today. Next is the Red Sox versus the Braves. There's really uh, nothing you can do in this situation. The Red Sox win five to three. The lineup is just too good. Once you see Mookie Betts, J.D. Martinez, it's an all-star all squad out there. Uh, so unless something comes out where one of these players are injured, just, you know, uh, it's, it's Red Sox day. Next is the Angels and... Can't even read my own writing. Angels and Rangers. Now, in this situation, I have a 4-4 game. And uh, whoever makes the first mistake... Uh, big ups to the Angels pulling that game out yesterday. The Rangers had every situation. There was runners on second, runners on third. Multiple ways the Rangers could have won that game, and they just could not pull it out for whatever reason. And it was a big letdown yesterday because I had a lot. Uh, I had a I had a big unit on on that. Next is the Cubs and Brewers. I have the Brewers pulling this out today uh, at five three a five three Brewers. So. Uh, take it for what it's worth. Next is the Tigers and White Sox. I've told you guys uh, the Sharps are all over the White Sox in this situation. It's a fate of uh, Liriano and just Detroit. Uh, they don't really have much going on for them. Uh, White Sox win 6-3. Next is the Twins and Astros, and the Astros are on cruise control right now. Uh, they're way, they're too much for any team in that division, any team right now. Uh, it is a 6-1 to one Astros win. That's why there's no value. Next is San Francisco and the Rockies. So we have Rockies winning 5-3. to three. Uh, Padres versus Arizona. I told you that uh, the Sharps are over the Padres. I kind of like the Padres in this situation too. I have 6-4. to four. Padres win. Next is the Yankees and A's. Uh, this is the bounce back for the Yankees, and they will win the game. 7-2. to 7-2, two. to two, guys. The Yankees win. This is a bounce back game for them. Uh, and we go to Baltimore. Um, Baltimore and the Mariners. Uh, I have Mariners winning 5-4. to four. Like I said, I don't have any interest in the Mariners. I, have any, I, I don't have any interest in, in the Baltimore either. So, Next is Mets and Dodgers. I have the Mets and Dodgers at 4-4. Four, four. Um, so whoever makes the first mistake. Now, yesterday I told you that the A's were going to win. And the score was exactly what I told you guys. Uh, also, the Mets and Dodgers wound up to be exactly the same way, too. Uh, a lot of these games, I'm, I'm having these totals pretty close to what the numbers are, guys. Uh, it's just sometimes um, the wrong team makes the mistake. So that is the whole card today. I pretty much knocked it out in like 10 minutes. Um, let me see. There's no uh, football on today, so... That's going to be the whole thing. I'm just going to refresh one more time. I'll go over the top five sharp plays. Now, remember, I'll probably have a, uh, because the games are so late today at 4 p.m. my time, I'll probably have a show around 2.30 again, uh, as, as long as I have time. I don't mind doing these, like, real quick shows for you guys. Um, and, all right, so the information is updated. So, once again, uh, the top play is the Padres for them, and that's at plus 158. And the reason why they're on the Padres today is a fade of Robbie Ray. I, I cannot tell you. I will not put another dollar on uh, Robbie Ray. He's just horrible. Next is Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay at negative 122. Uh, I definitely love that play. Stanks on the mound. Uh, Rays are surging up. And Toronto is surging down. Next is Dodgers at negative 230. Uh, there's no value in it for the average gambler. So we're not going to be on that. Rockies at negative 195. There's no value in that. And the Chicago White Sox at negative 164. I like the White Sox in this situation, but I ain't going to put money on... I am not going to put money on the White Sox. 
at negative 164 it's just not me so take it for what it's worth guys best of luck out there and uh have some fun watching uh, the jimmy and low shack show coming up talk to you later bye